Good afternoon. In this video, we're going to be talking about cell targets. Targets are very useful when it comes to having multiple robots where you can want to share different positions or go to the same position on multiple robots. You can also group targets together. So let's add a target to each one of these corners of our triangle. So let's go to the target menu, brings up the target icon, and we want to make sure we're matching the triad to our tool. So we're going to go to the surface. So you can do air surface, you can add it to a group. So let's go surface. And if we hover on the corner, you'll see a little gray marker pop up. So there's our surface. And we'll make, make sure that the triads are matching once we get all three of these surfaces done. We'll go on the corner here. And then the corner up here. Now, if you need to modify these at all, just close out of this targets. And here's the targets on the menu over here. So if we double click target one, we can see which direction the triad is going. We want the triad to match the same triad on our tool. So X is forward, Y is to the left here, and Z is down. So we want to match that so that the tool matches this as well. We go here, we need a X on the correct direction, and the X forward, Y is down, and then Z is forward as well. So we can actually move to this position so we can go move to and notice how our robot is exactly in line with our surface. And let's double check each one of our corners so we can go to position number two, go move to. And if the robot is the correct direction, that means everything is good. Let's go to position number three and everything should be good so we can go move to. So we can see we have that. So let's just change one of these rotations once. Hit apply. So I did 180. And then I go move to notice how our robot moves so we can modify these positions at any point in our drawing and we can update the robot position. So let's add one to the air once we have those so we can go air and we could just place it in the air for now and you can see it actually matches the same triad as the other ones. And then we can go to this one right here we can open this and we can move to and see what it looks like. And we could rotate this if we want to say zero and then move to. And you'll see that it can't actually move underneath that because it won't be able to get to that position. So what we can do is change the W to 180. So it's completely upside down. We can move to. There we go. So now we can make this position to wherever we want. So we could say 1200, 500, and then 800. And then we can move to. So again, is it an additional step of finding this in space? Yes, it is. But what's nice about, again, targets is that if I had a second or third robot in here, the targets are shared between the robots. So I can just say, okay, robot number one, go to this target, save it. Robot number two, go to this target, save it. And then we don't have to continuously find where these positions are over and over again. You can also detail and we can change the triad if you want to. You can also make the visible of the text. So if I go to say 36 and apply, it'll add the point name to it. You can also have a leader line if you want as well. So here's where you rename it. So you can change it from T4 to whatever you want. You can also change it so that you don't have a bunch of triads here. We can change it to a bullet. And if we hit apply right now, you can't see it. So I'm going to just move it to say position number three, and then you'll be able to see. So now it's just a dot in space. So you don't have a bunch of triads in there. So do whatever you need to do to make your cell look as neat as possible. And that is the placement of targets.